Margaret and I are involved on so many different levels with the fight against cancer. Uh, last year was the first time we partnered with Dick in this event. And then we went to his gala in Florida about a month ago. Uh, I'm amazed to watch him and the energy level that he brings to this fight for the V Foundation. Uh, I'm just proud to be a part of it. Obviously, you know, I lost both my parents to cancer and got involved with that fight you know, about 15 years ago. And we've done a lot of different things, but being involved with Dick Vitale is something that I'm just very proud to. To go to a function where we raised $2.1 million in one night is an amazing experience. Uh, so uh, anytime Dick asks me and Margaret to be anywhere, we're going to be there. Oh, I think it's great. You know, now we have Fred involved. Fred was there last night. He'll be here today. I think it's terrific. Uh, you know, obviously this is this is one fight that brings us all together. You know, we have the coaches versus cancer bet also, where all four of us are involved. But I think you know, for me, the support for Patrick has been overwhelming uh, throughout the entire state, from those who had cancer and all different people from Iowa State, Northern Iowa, Drake. And obviously, all the different teams at Iowa, from you know Tony Ramos to the women's basketball team to you know what Josh Oglesby did. You know we'll never forget the baseball team. Uh, it really made a difference for our family as as we battled these last few months. Patrick's doing uh, very well. Uh, two Fridays ago, we, we got word that uh, his second scan was clear. So they didn't find any further cancer, which is obviously always the concern when a tumor is removed. Did it spread anywhere? Did it go anywhere? Uh, did you get it early enough? So we're feeling very confident that we did. So uh, last Friday was one of the best days of my life. Two great guys. I, I, in my speech last night to the crowd, I said the people in Iowa were very, better, very lucky, very lucky for this. You know, I don't care. We put so much emphasis, all of us, you do, I do, on winning and losing with coaches. But state of Iowa is fortunate. You got two unbelievable people. Forget about just coaching, family people, people that you want your child to be around, people that you want the kind of guidance that they're going to give. They're quality guys, man. And they're helping us here raise some dollars. I love that. And uh, our friend and I and Fran have been a lot of talking here. And uh, they're both going to be pretty good this year, too. I mean, you look at uh, uh, certainly uh, Iowa. They made a little inroads last year getting into the NCAA tournament. And now they're going to build on it. And I, I, what I said last night, too, you know, I watched the game in the NCAA. You got Iowa in the tournament. Just put yourself now as a father. That morning, you find out your son has got cancer. You're flying on a plane to come and coach a game in an NCAA tournament. My God, my respect for Fran just went so high, it was unbelievable. I can't even imagine doing that. It's tough enough getting ready for a game, worrying about a game, and then have a thought on your mind about your son is gonna be in for a battle like you can't believe. It's a 24-7 battle. It's every day, the fears, every little cold, every little headache. You wonder if the cancer comes back. Uh, it's a nightmare when you talk about chemo, radiation, and that's why to my last breath, my last breath, I'm gonna beg, I'm gonna plead with people to give us money for kids battling cancer. I'm obsessed with this, guys. I'm obsessed with it. I, I don't think enough's being done. And I need people to help me. I need the media to help me. Because it might be your child. It might be someone you love. And the way to help, the doctors need money. They need money for research. They can't do it without research. Please, I beg all of you, if you write a story or tell a story, tell them to go to dickvitaleonline.com. You'll see a picture of me there along with Lacey. And if you click that picture where it says donate, people could donate any amount of money they want, tells you right there, through the V Foundation, and it's all for pediatrics.